Hello, this is Clarice from Bedford, Nova Scotia. I am going to make um, oat cakes, not traditional um, Halifax ones or Nova Scotia ones, just ones with no sugar, no flour for myself. So I've squished up a banana. To that, I am going to add an egg. I got about three quarters of a cup of rolled oats. I was making uh, African stew and it called for coconut milk, but because I only made half the recipe, I have half the milk left over. So I'm going to use it in here. I uh, shredded up some apple, one small apple, and some cinnamon, Whatever you prefer, I'll put about a teaspoon. To that, I'm going to add sunflower seeds. You can put nuts, you know, if you have walnuts, almond, whatever you want. I'm going to put in probably a quarter of a cup. And I have some cranberries. So I'll put in a few cranberries. Now all I'm going to do is mix this concoction all up and then I'm going to let, whoops, I'm going to let it, it'll thicken up as the oats absorb the coconut milk. So I made these about a week ago for a snack. I didn't have coconut milk, I used uh, almond milk, so maybe like half a cup. You know, it, there's, it's supposed to be thick and if it's a little bit too, too thick, add a little bit more milk. Kind of just judge it as you go along, put in a little milk and then stop when it seems like it's at a nice consistency. But I'm just going to leave that sit for about a half an hour. So here they are, 15 minutes. I'm, they're nice and firm. I'm going to let them cool before I take them off the pan. I found they were good. I would have them with coffee last week before I did my yoga. And they kept me full until I had my breakfast. Hope you try them. So I changed my uh, oatmeal mixture to a pot because it was a little bit too gooey for me. So I added about another quarter cup of oats and I also put in some almonds. So now what you're gonna do with the patties, just take like a handful, shake them, press them down, put them on a greased cookie sheet and I've got the oven preheating. They're going to bake for about 15 minutes at 350. After that, have a look at them. Touch them, like press them down like so. And if they still feel that they're not quite, leave them a couple more minutes. But I did some, like I said, a couple days ago and 15 minutes was good enough. <laughs> 